Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kamikaze here again. Welcome back to another video. And as I said in the previous video today, we'll be discussing the upcoming Blitz Battle on Global, which is going to be Aokiji versus a kind of face-off. I'll be releasing a complete guide on both fights with 3 to play and farming teams on the day of the release. And I'll be streaming it on Twitch, links in, links in the description, so make sure you pass by if you need company or something to watch while you're doing it yourself. It's gonna be my first time streaming One Piece Treasure Cruise, so it's gonna be some errors, it's gonna be some mistakes, but I'm gonna make myself um, sure that everything's gonna go flawless. Alright, so now talking about the fights, Aokiji is the easiest one and that's the main reason why most people will be Team Akainu. For Aokiji, I came up with a free-to-play team and two different farming teams. The farming teams aren't free-to-play friendly, sadly, but the units are really necessary. So the first team we'll be covering is the double Akainu team. And for pretty much all the teams, level 3 bind sockets is very, very good. Um, it's not really necessary for most teams, but it's really good. It makes the runs a lot faster and uh, prevents you from getting defeated by accident if you miss a perfect or if you miscalculate the damage so level 3 bind is really really advised for this team um, zeal is not really necessary because you do 7 million damage without zeal and brand new is just there because of the um, of the boost because it's rated boost for this event so brand new has no use besides being a bit stick if you guys don't have these two units it's fine just get any uh, in bit stick in the team and it will work just fine and the unit that you can sub besides these two is Odi. Um, that's the only unit that I have that's gonna make the uh, the job work. And you can sub Odi for any damage reducer. Um, for example, Red Recruit Strength Marco. That's also good. Reduces the uh, damage received by 90%. Um, but you need to have four strength units, so you need to be careful about that. But you can, if you don't have Odi, you can sub it off for any uh, damage reducer. Raju doesn't work because your captain needs to be a powerhouse, so she's out of the question. Um, but yeah, go for your box. If you don't have Odi, I'm sure you'll find the solution. All right, so the second team I came up with is a Lucy team, and the uh, damage that you see on the screen right now is with the uh, second part of the Lucy special activated, so the two times attack boost. And again, Rebel Free Bind is really necessary here. Um, the unit that is completely vital in this team is Invasion Garp. Without Evasion Garp, this team does not work, and it's gonna make the runs really hard to do. So Evasion Garp is really the MVP in all these fights. And the unit that you can sub here is Lucy. The Legend Marco is the best unit for the slots. I don't have Legend Marco sadly, um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use Lucy. But the unit that you have that you want here is a quick unit that heals or prevents damage because you have to tank a couple of damage to uh, stall out some turns. So. A kind, uh, I mean, Aokiji um, does quite a few, quite a few amount of damage, and uh, Lucy or Legend Marco is the best in slots. Um, are really necessary. The rest can really be subbed. All right, so the next team is the free to play team. Uh, the free to play team is not really uh, versatile in terms of you can't really sub any units. You have, you should have all the units here because you have to farm everything. So. Um, Garp again is the complete MVP, he does make the team work and it's really necessary to kill Aokiji after he revives. And uh, even though this team needs a little bit more strategy, I'm gonna make a video on the day of the release in covering everything, the complete guide on how this team works and what you need to do if you just need to squeeze in that victory to get the complete rewards. So don't worry about that, next video we're gonna have a complete guide on how to beat Akainu, I mean Aokiji with this team. Alright, now we'll go against Akainu. Now, Akainu is the hardest one because of his shield once he revives. Um, I came up with only two teams against him, a free to play team and a farming team. And it's not really that big of a deal because most people will be um, killing Aokiji anyway. anyway so. But if it, for some reason you guys want to farm Akainu or if Akainu is, Akainu is winning, we don't know. Um, I came up with, this, with these two teams. So the first team is a double Aokiji team. And this team features all the the rare recruits from the last Sugo banner. So we have Ina and we have Sengoku and of course the double Kiji. There's um, a boosted character that I don't have and I'm, I'm not going to pull on the Sugo so I'm not going to have her. Is the uh, limited rare recruit Boa Hancock. So if you have her, you can replace her. You can replace Bartol uh, for Boa. It does exactly the same. Bartol is here to tank the hits. Um, so Boa is there to... Uh, to give it that little 
attack boost because he's powered up. Um, Garp can be replaced for 6 plus Legend Kizaru. I don't have him, so Garp is really necessary to get rid of the shields. Not get rid of the shield, kill him instantly. Um, and, but if you have Kizaru, it's better because you do more damage because he's a Psy unit. And this special just gets its uh, shields uh, down to a 10 hit combo and you can kill uh, kind of from there just with auto attack so if you don't have him garp is really necessary all right for the free to play team again versus aokiji was the same this team doesn't have much replacements um gear 4 treasure map luffy doesn't have a replacement unless you have ina and uh, treasure map Zoro sanji is a 2.25 or booster which is a free to play unit so you really need these units to make the team work and again, Garp is an absolute must because there is no free-to-play uh, way to get rid of the shield completely. And Garp is just instant weed. You can you can just ignore the shield. So Usopp can be sold for Golden Pound Usopp, um, but this Usopp does more damage and has higher stats, so that's the reason why it's here. Um, but the rest are pretty much unreplaceable. All right, that's it for the team, guys. Hopefully, this helped you somehow and give you like a little guideline to so you know to what to expect and make sure to check out my stream I'm, i'll be streaming regularly in the next week and during the event uh so if you need company or if you need like just to chat and check out my stream um i'll be streaming during the all the events whilst i'm at home uh at least so yeah that's it for me guys see you guys in the next video and peace